record. So if this is you, just let me sleep. I feel the. Um, if you do, if sleep is your issue, you're not necessarily the feeling blur, post in the comments or the chats and we will give you details of the next sleep class. I have a class that I teach for the simple tips to help you sleep better. I've yet to meet someone I cannot send to sleep. I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing. What we're going to look at in this session tonight, though, is why does the season changing affect us so much? Now, if you've ever been at one of my yoga and Ayurveda workshops, you'll know a little bit about um, Ayurveda. Ayurveda is the oldest science in the world. It actually takes longer to train as an Ayurvedic practitioner than it does as a GP. Um, so I'm going to a little brief dip into some Ayurvedic principles here. Now, as the seasons change, What's happening is well, this period of transition in nature. So the external world is changing. The trees start to lose the leaves, that the temperature becomes cooler. But the changes don't just happen out in the world. There are also changes going on in our internal environment as the seasons change. And we get this period of transition in our mind-body system. Now, Ayurveda teaches that we each, as a human being, have a dominant dosha that governs our body and mind. Each season also has a dosha. So Ayurveda has an effect on us. The doshas affect us as a physical body and mind, but they also affect the external world. And the, these are the three doshas, Pitta, Vata and Kappa. It is a whole day's workshop where I go into more detail on Ayurveda. This is just a very brief snapshot. But just to give you an idea, Pitta is the dosha that goes with summer and heat. Vata is the dosha that goes with autumn and is old. Vata is very much a wind and wind energy. So we think about the leaves getting blown off the trees. And so this is where we are now. We're transitioning from summer into autumn. So we're going from a pitta season to a vata season. And then kapha is the late winter through to spring. And kapha, if you're somebody with a kapha, a kapha dosha always makes me think of Homer Simpson sitting on a sofa eating donuts and wrapped up in a blanket is very much um, the kapha dosha. But why do we get sick? When the seasons change, okay, and the dosha of the season is changing, there's also these changes going on inside our body. And we'll be, we'll be more susceptible. So Ayurveda recommends that we adjust our diet and our lifestyle routine, not just for our own personal dosha, that's our unique mind-body constitution, but also for the one for the, the season. So each season has recommendations for diet and routine. Each personal dosha has recommendations for diet and routine. And as, as, as we transfer from one to the other, we need to take a little bit of extra caution because our bodies get accustomed to the routine, the food and the lifestyle of the previous season. And if we don't have this awareness of how the seasonal shifts can affect us and, and we don't make the changes to our diet and our lifestyle accordingly, our physical body in the world transitioning to the new season can, can be a shock to the system and that affects our immunity and our sense of well-being. So if we're to look at our healthy habits, the habits that govern how we live our life, and having that awareness of which dosha governs which season is valuable. It enables us to proactively adjust our diet and our lifestyle so that we can optimize our health and our well being and avoid getting sick. Now, we have choices. Um, these two little triangles, so the triangle pointing down and the triangle pointing up. Um, both have symptoms and a root cause in there, but the one on the left is very much the modern approach. Um, we're designed, we've got man-made synthetic agents, synthetic 
um, drugs that address symptoms don't really get to the root cause. So the needs remain. And um, so we've got synthetic agents, then there are side effects, some that are known, some that are unknown. Um, now this figure is in dollars. I did change it to pounds, but it was still a huge amount that I can't even imagine. 6.5 trillion dollars per year spent on global healthcare. But are we healthier? <laughs> On the other side, the natural approach turns that upside down and we look at the root cause rather than just treating symptoms. And we look at um, using what nature produces to address the root cause and meet the body needs. Um, they're extracted from plants and it actually enhances our physical and emotional health. And if used correctly, they're safe without the side effects. So, the modern way is intervention, where success is an absence of symptoms. The one on the left. Or we can live with intention using natural resources, and success here is defined as a sense of well being. So, ways that we can do this, okay, and particularly important to look at making some adjustments as we change the seasons now. So think about our nutrition, what we're putting into our body, what is fueling our body. Some simple tips, avoid sugar consumption and other compromising food choices. Avoid artificial sweeteners. Um, they really do affect the, the pH in your body. And we want to try to maintain a healthy pH to help to boost our immune system. Look at supplementing your diet. Now, I never thought I needed supplements. I have a very, I cook a lot of things from scratch. You eat a lot of vegetables. I'm not a big fruit lover. I'm, I'm a, more vegetables. Um, we very much operate an 80 20 kind of rule in our house 80% of the time, good, 20%, maybe not so good. Um, but I, the lifelong vitality, the LLV there, I, I swear by these now. Um, they're going to teach a whole class about those. And the Mitre 2 Max is an energy supplement and other things that you could perhaps look at supplements in vitamin C, vitamin D, zinc, magnesium. These are all really great for boosting your immune system. Um, if you're looking for ways to help improve um, nutrition, um, join our Facebook group. I will share. It, if, if you're not watching this in the Facebook group, I will share the link to the Facebook group. And in there, you, there were lots of ideas for simple, quick recipes um, that tend to be more healthy. There are some nice sweet treats in there as well. But this is Wanna Feel Awesome. Um, this is Deterra's number one product. And so confident in this product, you actually have 30 days satisfaction guaranteed. If you do not feel better in 30 days, if you don't have more energy, uh, if you're not less tired, for me, it helps really help clear up my hormonal acne. Um, I didn't think I needed supplements, like I say. I eat really healthy, cook, cook from scratch, don't really eat a lot of junk food, but it is so noticeable um, with these supplements. I've been taking these for. Um, two or three years now actually um, uh, they help my hair grow clean my skin give me energy balance my hormones help me through the menopause and such like so again there's a complete there's another video just all about these if you want to look into that um, but we also have a class that we teach which is all about nutrition there's got simple to implement cost-effective tips that will boost your wellness, little simple things that you can do in your home, um, some tasty treats for you, for your family, for your kids, but that will actually help to boost wellness. If you post in the comments or the chat, and um, we can give you details of the next class that we're teaching about nutrition. Sleep. Okay, so if we're wanting to support our immune system, if we get stressed, if we don't sleep well, that lowers our defenses that compromises our, our immune system so staying calm and getting rest are really really essential and this is probably the most common thing that i actually end up helping people with either themselves or the children 
As I said earlier, I haven't met somebody I haven't managed to send to sleep. And we've got lots of different solutions. So we've got the soft gels, which are a capsule that adults can take, a natural capsule. Um, we've got the Serenity blend. I do need to say the capsule has got completely different ingredients to the blend. Please, if you've got a Serenity bottle of Serenity at home, don't think you can put some drops in a capsule and swallow it down. It's totally different. But um, some oils that would help you for sleep, balance, serenity, peace, adaptive. Um, I would also add the air blend, the respiratory blend in there as well. It can be great for sleep. Um, popping it on the soles of your feet, rubbing it into your big toes, taking one of the capsules and diffuser. There's a picture of the Brevi diffuser. So when we talk about diffusing essential oils, we don't mean putting it into a candle burner and heating it because that changes that chemistry of the oils. If you remember, I said about the oils, um, how, how the oils, the chemistry of the oils can get through the cells. If we start to heat them up, that chemistry changes and we don't want to do that. So the diffusers don't actually heat the oils. It's just a cool mist that comes out of those. Post in the comment, the chat, if you want the details of my next sleep class, I've got a, a full a, a class that's teach all about tips to help you sleep better. And say, I have yet to meet someone I cannot send to sleep. Another way that we use our oils, as I say, with that diffuser is aromatically. And it's a good idea to be diffusing oils in your home for a minimum of two hours a day. So in your home, in your car, in your office, anywhere where you're around other people, um, get a diffuser going. Wild Orange there in that picture is a wonderful, wonderful um, oil for antioxidant immune support, um, as is the oil that we're going to come to in a little while, on guard. You can just put a drop in your hands and breathe it in. Um, it also cleanses your hands as well then. You can wear it like a perfume and, and so dilute it in some coconut oil or some body lotion and, and have it on your body as a perfume. I like to put it on a diffuser bracelet. You could just put it underneath your nost nostrils, put, put, put a bit underneath your nostrils um, so, so you're smelling it. I also like to put a few drops on clothes sometimes. You can take the essential oils internally. So if you put it in your water and drink it, that can help with your respiratory support. If you put it into um, a capsule and swallow it down, it can help to promote your gut health. If you put it under your tongue, that's a really fast way to get it into your blood system. And then your blood system is going to take, take that, that oil around your body to the, the organs and systems that need it. And the great thing about the essential oils, um, they go where they're needed. Many of the oils are what we call adaptogenic. So they, they work in the way that your body needs. And one oil, um, lemon there, um, can have two different effects on blood pressure. I'm going to be really careful. I'm going to be really compliant. They do what your body needs. And if the, there's, there's, there's no buildup of toxins in the liver or the kidneys, they're, they're processed gargle with them so get some water if, you get a bit of a, if you're not feeling too clever get some water and put some essential oils in have a gargle helps keep your throat clear minimize and eliminate your exposure if you gargle with the on guard you've got that little clove oil in there so you're stopping you're stopping bugs and germs at the door in the mouth before they get the entry into your lungs so three good oils there to be using um, in, either internally or gargling on guard, lemon, frankincense. Talking about internal, drinking, drinking plenty of water. Keeping yourself really well hydrated is going to help to boost your immune system. Um, ideally, you want to be drinking half of your body weight in, in, in ounces of water. And weigh yourself and work out half your body weight in ounces, and that's how much water you want to be getting into. Now, that could be um, in cold water that you drink, in warm water, it might be in soups, and also we've got to not discount the fact that there, there is some water in fruits and vegetables, but you might like to have hot water, okay, so if you boil the kettle, 
pour the water into your cup so that it's then off the, off the boil and add a few drops of um, essential oil. So really good during the cold weather, great for your body. And it purifies your water with the essential oil in, but it also gives you a boost. So some, I play around um, with citrus oils. Well, three of my favourite for putting into my water there, lemon, wild orange and on guard. Um, ideally, throughout the day, trying to get 20 drops of citrus oils because they're high in into your body daily. So let's have a look. Essential oils that are high in limonene are citrus oils. So we can see bergamot, grapefruits, green mandarin, lemon, lime, and wild orange. All of those are great for uplifting mood. So if you're diffusing them, they're going to help to uplift mood. They can all help with skin appearance if you put them in a body lotion. However, a citrus oil, we don't have it on the skin if we're going out in the sunshine. They are all, all about the bergamot there, for, great for cleansing and purifying. Now that is you and your body, if you're taking them internally, or if you are cleaning surfaces in your home, put them in a spray bottle with some water and use those for cleaning. Our green mandarin and lemonade also helps support your digestion and your respiratory system. And then that last column there for supporting your immune system, green mandarin, lime and wild orange. So we talked about putting the oils on the body, okay, and topically applying them. But the, the, the really, it's really effective, um, the oils, whether we're putting them on the body, we're drinking them in water, we're taking them in a capsule. Remember what I was saying? The essential oils permeate the cell membrane. The, the, the oils will get through that cell membrane into the cell to work in the cell the nucleus. Where's well, a good place to apply the oils? On your hands and your palms, bottom of the feet, along the spine, back of the neck, behind the ears, not in the ears, behind the ears on the chest or on reflex points. There is, in the group, there is a reflexology map of the hands and the feet. So if you wanted to do a little bit of self-reflexology, you could use that. So the oil of the week. Um, the oil of the week has got to be, if we're talking about our immune system, it has to be on guard. It could be anything else. And so let me oh come back. I want to start that recording.